pieces, especially those sought after collectible pieces. I'm Winnie. I'm Elena. And we are the vintage experts at Luxury Promise. Um, if you've never shopped with us before, it's very much an interactive show. It's a very fun show, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. We talk about the history, we talk, you're very clear on the condition, and most importantly, during this live show, it is you, once we um, finish talking about the items, we present the items and there is a picture icon on top of uh, your right hand screen and all you need to do is just tap on the icon if you're interested in shopping. It's a very much a dynamic shop in real time show. We've got the lovely Rachel. Say hi Rachel. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Who is work, busily working behind the scenes and uh, she'll be moderating for tonight's show. So we've got Ruru. Hello Ruru. Hi Ruru. <laughs> hi. So the benefits of shopping in tonight's show is that during this live show, all your customs and duties are covered. So if you live in the US or anywhere outside the UK, we land the, your, the, your shopping, your um, order for you with no extra duties added. The only thing you have to add is there is a little bit of a, a shipping charge, which is £10 for UK, £15 for Europe, and £35 for the rest of the world. We also take all major forms of credit and debit cards, as well as PayPal, and we offer something called Split It as well. So, Split It is a payment plan that's only available on credit cards, and you can split those payments over three, six, nine, and 12 months, and the important thing is it's interest-free. There's no extra charge for you. Um, to apply, all you need to do is, as you're checking out, there is a split it icon. You just tap on the icon and you'll go through some credit checks. Uh, the only caveat is that you need to have the full amount available on your credit card before you can partake in the plan. So, in tonight's show, we've got Trinka, Tinka. Hello, Tinka. You see new. Tam, our OG. Woo Woo's the OG. Abby. We've got Abby. No, we've no. got Nono. We've got Rachel. <laughs> so, um, hello everyone. Shirley from Texas. Hi. Hi. Hello. So, what we're we gonna start with? We're gonna start start with bags. You bags? Okay, you choose. Which I bags? choose this one. You gonna yeah. tell? You gonna tell us about this bag? Good, good job. I really went up on this five minutes before. <laughs> so. We love Hermes. I actually Vintage. prefer um, vintage, vintage Hermes. Me too. And I love little, like some of the um, uh, styles that Hermes come with, like the golf bag, Boulder Golf, I think it's called. Um, there's the Vespa. It's all these um, styles that are now discontinued. The Rio Clutch, um, they're discontinued. However, I suppose because they're discontinued, they don't really have a much of a, a vintage presence. I like them because not that many people have, have them. them. That's yeah. why we like vintage. It's really hard to find those pieces. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's hard to get the new one too. But... Exactly, exactly. But however... I've seen the price of this clutch. I hope it's right. Oh, gosh. I'll hold, hold this that while we check. <laughs> so, <laughs> this cl I, I love the clutch idea. So, I think it's such a versatile oh piece. God, that's insane. It's yes, insane it's price. Is this insane oh price. God. I almost don't want to uh, sh sell it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's no longer for sale. No, so no, we've already shown it now. I, I was just saying, this is such a versatile piece because you can put it into your shop shopper bag. Exactly. And then if you're going out, you can leave the shopper bag at work and then have just exactly. this. Exactly. And put this under your Yeah. Arm. And I think, I mean, the Gigi clutch, Gigi clutch, mm -hmm. Gigi or Gigi, if anyone in the community can tell us if that's the correct way of saying it, um, has been around for many years and it's still one of those vintage classics that's still in production. I think recently they have reissued this, but in the, in um, suede. In suede. In suede with yes. contrasting leather, which is absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. But this is the vintage box calf version. version. Um, this is in black box calf. And you can see that beautiful glossy uh, shine. Um, and the thing about box calf is actually very durable. It's very easy to look after. And there's hardly anywhere to the corners and the edges of the clutch. It's actually, it is quite amazing. It looks like pristine. It condition. looks pristine. Oh I mean, God, this is, mad. This this is, is mad. such a beautiful I piece. I want to see this. <laughs> there okay. is one hairline scratch there, but main front, there aren't any um, <laughs> major scratches. And it's served by the, the clutch has a H logo and you slip 
the tab through the H logo and that's how you secure it. Of course, it has the Hermes heat stamping and it says uh, Paris and made in France. And um, the incredible piece about this, we were just talking about this, it is a H in circle. And I believe, is it 1978, this piece? Uh, I had a quick look. Yep. It's 1978. I can't believe, I just can't believe great? the condition. I still can't believe the price. And the price, yeah. Was, I'm just... 19, it's actually a 1978 price, I but think. Actually, <laughs> this looks like so modern. Yeah. I would say, if you if you will be yeah. wearing this today, you, you would look, not know. You would not know. It's almost 50 years old. I, and it's, it's so old, I love the contrast. Yeah. Stitching in white. I just, I think it gives like such a nice edgy yeah Feel. exactly uh any more smaller no when it comes to vintage one this is the standard sizing it's only much later where they made it smaller more like east west style but this is the large uh the standard size there i need we need to make um point out that the there is some age spots uh in the in, inside. in the inside it's a twirl um lining and on the vintage each clutch um, it's always a contrasting um, twirl lining. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't have any odour, does it? No. Oh, no, you can't smell anything no, odd. No. no. So it has the Hermes um, Paris stamp over here. The condition, honestly, is amazing. Yes. And it's very, it's, it's durable. Yeah. And it's very soft at the same time. Very soft. And, and just really it's like, not, like, like not it at does all. Hold its, it's, it does hold its shape very well. So in terms of sizing, it 11. is 11 inches across and it is about 8 inches high. So it's a decent, very good day clutch size. And it's size. good to have it with you when you're traveling because, because it's like, it's very flat mm. and you can just put it into your suitcase and it doesn't take a lot of space. Yes. I know with traveling, everybody has the same issue. You want yeah. more bags, but you don't have enough space for them. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> or you buy a bag to put a bag inside, inside, inside another bag. bag and inside another so bag. So this is a very versatile piece and it's absolutely not heavy. At all. So, so let's put you out the mystery. There's, let's reveal the price. The, the price, price is, is literally insane. I don't it's know. only 900 pounds, guys. 900 pounds. Less than a thousand for Hermes. I know, for Hermes. And, and, and it is the still, it's a star that's still in production. So you're getting Hermes for less than a thousand pounds. It's actually a great investment price because this can only... For nine, for 900 just all a right. keychain oasis <laughs> keychain i think <laughs> 900 pounds which is 1086 us dollars if you want to shop this incredibly priced uh, vintage piece all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there everyone's going what <laughs> i know when i saw yeah. the price i couldn't believe my eyes. i know it's fantastic it is and uh, hopefully it'll find a home and you know what i think because of how it's structured it could easily be a unisex piece. Yes, definitely. Like a, a gentleman's document holder. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like no. When you... you're traveling, you can just put the passport, all the like definitely. money documents yeah, in yeah. there, and absolutely. Yeah, very, very chic. So if you want to shop that, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Uh, which bag next? Shall we do? Let's do your favorite one. Okay. The you want, I know. Oh, no, I <laughs> love this piece. Um, this is incredible. This is highly collectible Chanel, and this is actually a cross stitch bag. Um, it's known as the Arts and Crafts bag. Um, it has all these wonderful symbols about Chanel. Uh, you've got the little love heart. Of course, you've got the Chanel number no. five. You've also got the shamrock, which was. Um, one of Chanel's lucky uh, symbols because she was a very superstitious person and very auspicious person as well. So, of course, you've got the silhouette of Coco Chanel, CC logo, and what else? The little black jacket, which she basically invented, invented. and the ladybird. And what does the ladybird mean? Is that luck? I think it's just a symbol of luck. Yeah, yes. lucky. Yeah, because they say that if a ladybird lands on you, yes. it's lucky. lucky yes. Yeah. So, um, this is... Um, not vintage, vintage per se. I think this is um, probably with, yeah, maybe two thousand. I think with around 2000. the two thousand era. I haven't yes. can't quite see the serious. It says nineties on the. Um, uh, it's not is that. There, yeah. Is there is. Is there a? Oh, it's a seven series. So it is. If you don't mind updating. So that's early no, it's 2002, yeah. 2003. 2002, 2003. So it would consider it to be almost vintage. Yeah, it's yes. almost twenty years old. 
but um, it is incredible. I just want to show you all the embroidery is intact and this would have been done by hand on a cross stitch base. Even the panel, the side panels continues with this wonderful embroidery as well. Uh, the corners only show very light wear. Uh, the bottom is generally nice and clean. There is some, a few hairline scratches, but generally the corners are nice and clean. The hardware, the little feet are, which is quite handy for handbags, so keeps it upright and off the floor, are intact. And it features gold tone hardware uh, with this thin uh, chain and it has a nice CC logo as well. And it is the perfect over the shoulder size. It's just so, so adorable. Yeah, it's, it's so playful. You know? Very playful, very, very playful. Uh, it has two separate compartments, including internal zip compartments. So if you want something a bit more secure, you've got that handy zip pocket there. And it has an internal zip pocket there as well. So lots of spaces for st storage. And it's a Jacquard Chanel lining, and the lining is nice and clean. It has its serial sticker intact. It's a seven series, so it's from 2002 to 2003 and it includes its original um, Chanel dust bag as well. No card but serial sticker dust bag is intact. Uh, in terms of sizing it's the actually probably around about 12 inches or probably 11, 12, 11, yeah 10 11 12 inches wide. So it's a good um, shoulder um, you know it's a good everyday shoulder bag. And also with with the chain because it has like a yeah. T-bar closure it's easy to take this out and mm -hmm. maybe substitute with a longer one so you can wear it cross body. Yes. Because you can, it, as you can see, you can take this out and add any other chain as well. Yeah. Um, what, well, the spots will come the, out. The, the Hermes. Right? Hermes. Uh, you can I try. I honestly don't know. I, we don't know. I, honestly, when it things like that, I, we tend not to aggravate it because it's already 44 years old. So you don't want to aggravate the, you know. The uh, out leather, it's easier. But yeah. Because it's like a canvas material. It's gonna be um, harder it, to, yeah. But we never know, we, ha we haven't, we We're personally not, haven't yeah. tried this and so. But I know out of all the levers, when it comes to box calf, box it's calf the is easiest, easiest to, to buff to take, up. Yes. If you take it to Hermes for a professional spa, it would be fine. So yes. let us uh, dis, uh, show the bag one more time. In terms of scale, this is what it looks like on me. And it's the perfect shoulder tote bag. And I'll show you the condition one more time. There's hardly anywhere to the top. The main embroidery exterior and, and even the side panels are in good condition with no loss of embroidery or thread pull missing. And just very light wear to the corners. And the hardware is excellent. So, the price, please, for this amazing, highly collectible bag with so many stories to tell you. It is uh, £3,050, which is 3681 US dollars. It includes all your customs and duties. And if you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on the icon just there. I think you should do jewellery now. No, <laughs> I was like looking at the oblique bag, but yeah. let's do jewellery. So. I will take Rachel's favorite piece. <laughs> I know she loves it. Yeah. And she called it my Shibanshi necklace. Yeah. So. <laughs> She's mumbling to herself over there, Rachel. <laughs> my Shibanshi necklace. So I will try to take the tag off as well. Yeah. Um, just this is really, really nice. This is nice. This has actually got a very 90s feel to it with a chunky chain and a sheet bar closure. Actually, according to the hallmark, it's it should be even 70s or early really? 80s. Yes, because oh. the oval hallmark is the only one. Like oh, they I would, see. Like, remember oh, yeah, yeah, some of yeah. the jewelry, they had even the 70s stamp on it. Yeah. So this is the earlier one. Just look how beautiful it is. So this oh. is the chunky chain. Uh, Necklace. And this chain is still incredible. It looks so nice. It, it, is it looks so nice. So and it has this hook and a ring closure with the Givenchy Paris logo on the front. So let me try and wear it for you. So it will look like this. Oh, that Just looks so, so nice. Oh, I love the way it's a Givenchy Paris. Yes, it does yeah. say Givenchy uh, Paris on the front. But if you don't like it to be on the front, you can always turn it and wear it just as a plain, as a, as a plain chain. So you have options how to style this. 
Definitely a very good stackable piece. It is stackable. jewellery right now is all about layering. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to upset Rachel. Who wants to go with my other one? Yeah. So let me just show you the condition. In terms of condition, the condition is very, very good. I'd say it's even excellent. As you can see, the gold chain is shiny. There are no tarnish, no loss of gold plated uh, metal. So you do get the Givenchy logo and Paris over here and a vintage Givenchy plaque on the other side of the necklace. So let's maybe measure this one as well. So the length will be 16 and a half inches that is 41 centimeters so in terms of length i'd say it's a very good um size mm -hmm. and um i love Givenchy jewelry because the, despite uh the prices uh the quality is uh, very very good yeah so the prices are more affordable comparing to chanel for mm -hmm. example but um they but do similar uh, finish though it's yes because it's Givenchy. yes yeah all jewelry which was produced in France uh, before the mass production is highly mm -hmm. uh, quality, it's high quality. So let's have a look at the price. I love that, it says she in Paris. Paris. Still so so you, have, you, you have the Givenchy That is such logo. a good price. What is it? Oh, 295 pound. That is an amazing, amazing price. price. Yeah. So Givenchy, I would expect the this chunky chain to be uh, like in the 400 probably. Yeah. So 295 in GBP or uh, 356 US dollars. The icon appeared over here and we do cover all your customs and import duties as well. So you can shop that item. Yes. Now to, uh, oh, let's do this one. I know this is a really well priced. I know in previous shows, people were asking about sort of small little dainty Chanel necklaces and we actually have one now. Um, this, do you need a skew for this one? You probably know it is. Yeah. Okay, it is this one. Okay, I'll have a look. Right. This is actually a really sweet piece. Ah, oh, so the pendant. So the pendant is yeah, Chanel, Chanel. Okay. And the chain is. So, this is a vintage. Uh, I can see, yeah, it look, that looks quite an old stamping. It is. It's in the 80s. I think. So 80s? Or do you think it's even later? 70s? No, I think it's, it's 80s. 80s. Okay. So it, this is a Chanel necklace with a CC pendant. And the CC pendant features these tiny little rhinestones uh, all intact. And the rhinestones are still intact. It hasn't actually fallen out yet. So, And it's set along a gold tone, a 24 karat gold uh, base. Uh, metal base it is signed chanel here it is um hung on this necklace this necklace is just a simple necklace so we just attached the the pendant on a non-chanel uh, necklace is that right that's so not the yes. chain is non-chanel but the pendant is chanel. chanel yeah so uh, we're actually selling the pendant we're just throwing in the necklace for you uh, for free otherwise it's very hard to use this uh, pendant on its own so the pendant, um, it's got just lovely little, um, almost like a beaded effect along the CC uh, logos. And then it has these tiny little rhinestones and it all intact. Um, it's just a very sweet and dainty little piece. And I think that Givenchy is just short. Probably, yes. Oh no, Rachel, Rachel is. Oh no, Rachel. No, thank you for the purchase. Yeah, Rachel, but you just sorry. made <laughs> Oh, oh well. Who bought it? Let us know. Um, Christina said, would it double wrap as a bracelet? Uh, let me try. Yeah, Christina, we'll just try out the Givenchy for But I for think you. with the length of the, uh, of the chain, probably absolutely. Yes, yes. it does. As oh, you that can... does the work. Wow. And you can actually really? have the little CC, uh, not CC, the Givenchy. The Givenchy on the other yeah, side. On, uh, yes, down. Yeah, it on down. It does double wrap. Yeah. Sarah, ah, oh, amazing. So back to this necklace, we are just selling the pendant. We're throwing in this complimentary chain for free. Um, it's a lovely condition. 
and the chain definitely i mean you can play around the chain like I, i've got several other necklaces so you can wear it low like this you can actually take off the pendant and um Pierre Joe, who's on the show who introduced me to um little uh, pendant and brooch converters where you can actually thread that through and put it onto a standard chain if you wish to as well or convert it onto a little brooch actually if you wanted to as well so this is a very competitively priced item so if you can show us the price that'd be great this is only 395 pounds oh wow yes 395 pounds for a beautiful uh, chanel pendant and we're throwing in this complimentary train chain uh, in with the pendant so just 395 pounds which is uh, 476 US dollars. If you want to shop this item, all you need to do is just tap on that bottom icon just there. Wow, we've hit almost 80 people, oh, which wow. is incredible for a Monday. Um, I'm Winnie and I'm joined by the lovely Elena. Hi. And today, Monday, it's all about the vintage treasures. So if you're a fan of vintage, uh, we've got some bags, we've got some jewelry, and then stay on in the next hour and a half, uh, where we are the vintage experts and we'll bring you our curation for today. So the next item I want to show, maybe I'll do some LV actually. We have a Sarah Vintage International Wallet by Louis Vuitton. Um, it's crafted from the uh, coated canvas uh, in this L classic monogram design. Um, it is nice and clean on the exterior, nice and clean on the uh, exterior there as well. Um, the bottom is also in very good condition with only just very light minor wear to the corners of the wallet. It uh, features a little pop lock closure in the brass tone and it closes securely and inside it has um, lots of compartments to store all your um, uh, items which include a compartment here and a compartment here and it has a six card holder. Uh, I think the Chanel pendant has just Thank sold. <laughs> Congratulations. I mean, that's a no-brainer at 395. Such a good price. So uh, amazing. <laughs> so in uh, so it has a six card holder. So you can hold one, two, three, four, five, six cards. And the good thing about Sarah Wallet is that it's designed to have an inbuilt little coin section here. The coin section, you can see it has some light wear where the coins have been rubbing, but generally it's in good usable condition. The good thing about these monogram um, LV coated canvas is it's very durable, it's water resistant, and, um, and you just keep on going. They're just good, good investments. It's actually served by two additional pockets at the front as well. So in terms of the wallet, it's an amazing wallet. If actually you can use this as a little clutch bag, I'm just going to grab my iPhone 11 cover and I believe you can actually put in an iPhone. Yes, this is an iPhone 11 cover and, and it fits a cover, uh, an iPhone 11 just like that. So um, you can use this as a little evening clutch, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So lots of ways to use this little wallet. So when you're ready for the price, I would say condition wise, I rate this a good seven and a half and eight out of 10. So the price of this is just 375 pounds, which is 452 US dollars. Uh, oh yes, happy birthday America, oh, yes. it's 4th of July. It's Day, yes? yes, 4th of July. <laughs> How are you celebrating your 4th of July, Shirley? Uh, do let us know. I think everyone has barbecues, don't they? And they have lots of friends come oh, around. Yes, probably. Yes. Hope so, the weather is nice. Hope, yeah, I hope the weather's good in Texas. Um, the price of this is £375, which is dollars If you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that icon there, and it includes all your duties and taxes included as well. Right. Uh, you want to choose something? I want to choose this yeah. one. Yeah, go ahead. I really love this piece. <laughs> so, for tonight, I chose this beautiful Dior um, mini saddle bag in a uh, burgundy oblique um, canvas. So I love this bag. I think this is so timeless. The uh, saddle bag is being reinvented, reintroduced in different colors and fabrics. And um, this one is a small version, which is uh, worn as a shoulder bag, or you can wear it as this like this over uh, the hand as well 
And personally, I'm a big fan of red or um, burgundy bags because I think this color is very versatile and it's so easy to style it during the summer or also during the winter. So it is crafted from a cotton canvas. In terms of um, its uh, condition, I'd say it's a very, very good condition. As you can see, there is minimal wear to the corners along the bottom line. So I would say minimal to no wear. The canvas uh, on both sides is nice and clean. There is no spots, uh, no color transfer. It's and really cute, isn't it, it is a very nice one. Yeah. And the shoulder uh, strap is also in a very good condition. So I don't see any cracks or anything. Yeah. And what I love about this bag is that you can take the shoulder strap off because you do get like a little circle over here. Oh, it's detachable. It is deta detachable. Yeah. And you can add maybe like a guitar strap or yeah, something yeah. which is a bit longer, longer and will wish. allow you yeah. to wear it cross body. Um, the gold plated hardware is in very good condition as well. So I would say it's like eight and a half mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, grading. So let me open the bag. So inside is very clean. It is crafted from nylon and signed Christian Dior Paris in here. And as you can see, it's very nice and clean. I do not see any spots or anything in the bag. No, it's incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. I would say this is a good Y2K era bag, so early 2000s, so yes. within 20 years old, this item. Let me try to put the um, iPhone 11 case. iPhone 11, so it does fit. Probably the 13 will fit as well. Yeah. It looks like it's very roomy, so it, it will fit your iPhone, card slots, keys, and um, the lipstick. Yes. So it's a perfect uh, evening bag or the bag when you're not carrying a lot of stuff with you. Yeah. So let's have a look at the price. I love this. Yeah, it's I love, cute. I love burgundy bags. You, yeah. you know I'm wearing burgundy bags all the time. Yeah. So the price is £705, uh, which is $850 US dollars. And it is available over here. And the condition is excellent, as you can see. So going from one vintage, so early one I've just showed the uh, Louis Vuitton uh, Sarah wallet, which is still available at £375. Um, I want to do this. We haven't had an Alma oh, in for a, for a long, long time. So this is the Louis Vuitton Alma. And the Alma bag was actually first sort of brought in by Louis Vuitton. So it's around about the 1930s. And it was actually a very Art Deco inspired bag of that period. So you can see that structured, very simple text as um, style. You can see where the Art Deco influence came from. Now, um, Alma, um, it's named Alma, is actually, um, Alma is the, um, is actually a famous bridge that actually links two very chic Parisian um, neighbourhoods together. Decibles. Yes, exactly. So two, yes. So that, that's where it gets gets its name from. Um, it was also one of um, Coco Chanel's personal favourite bags, the Alma really? bag. Yes. Uh, so um, so this one is crafted from a monogram design, this coated canvas with a fachette leather uh, base. And this is the standard um, medium size, I think. See, it PM. sounds PM, but I think it's MM. Right? Yeah, yeah, PM is much smaller. So this is the MM size. Um, it has the two upright fachette leather um, handles. And actually, the patina is actually very nice on it's the very handle. very even, I would yeah, say. Yeah, very, very even. Often when we get these in, uh, depending, the, the interesting thing about the fachette leather, it's actually natural cowhide um, leather that's been undyed. And it really depends, it takes on the DNA on the owner. So it really depends on your way of using this bag or how you use it and the, the oils on your hand and just like your fingertip no two fachette leathers actually the same. yeah patina the patina same the yeah the, all the patinas are always always unique to that previous owner and it will also be different on different parts of the bag exactly well. yeah and it takes years lots of uh, Louis Vuitton um, aficionados love that honeyed look and it takes several years, a good 15 years, before it gets this beautiful, even honeyed leather, um, honeyed look 
like this. So this one in general is in good condition. Um, there is obvious some uh, wear along the corners, but it's actually pretty even and fairly clean. Uh, light wear to the base, which is to be expected. One thing about this bag, it has no watermarks uh, along the base, just slight watermarks just there. Um, nice, uh, clean uh, patina, uh, even patina on the handles. This bag also comes with its padlock. Often the padlocks are missing. Uh, I don't know if it comes with a key, and I'm just gonna check. Uh, it has no key, it's just a padlock only. Comes with its original dust bag as well and um, it has a canvas lining and it has some signs of obvious use. So there's light wear to the base of the bag. Uh, in terms of, it, you can see there are little hooks here. These, can you see that little internal hook, almost like a U? And there is also another hook here that looks like a U. These are actually designed for, if you ever wanted to get your own set of detachable shoulder straps, you can, and that's where you place it. So you could wear this um, a as a crossbody or a shoulder bag, but usually Almas are, but originally the vintage ones are sold as a handbag. And I think this is actually a very good day size. It is a very good. And it's very comfortable on how it opens because yeah. on the sides it still has this secure, um, like how would you how would you name it? It's almost them? like a um I think this is the word gusset, an extra like bit of fabric. Fabric, yeah. So the, your belongings will not fall well, out. Yeah. So when you're ready for the price, this is the MM size. It is only five hundred and ninety pounds, which is seven hundred and twelve US dollars. Uh, date wise, uh, I don't know if I can see. Oh yes, there is. The date stamping is often inside the pocket, is on this extra bit of fabric, uh, sorry, leather tab. And this is from 1998, so a 1998 vintage. If you want to shop this, all you need to do is tap on the icon there and you can read the further condition report on the item and see the um, measurement and spec. I would give this a good 7 out of 10, a yes, uh, solid 7 out of 10. Alrighty, I was looking at I love that Gryphoire. No, it's not Gryphoire. Is it not Gryphoire? No. Oh. It's, it's enamel. Oh, is it enamel? Yes, enamel. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's I love it. Can you just take the tag? Is this the Maltese cross? This is a Maltese cross. I don't remember how this thing called. It's a flower. Oh, it's Rachel. thistle. Thistle. Yes. Thistle. Yeah. So, if you know Yves Saint Laurent and you know with vintage of Saint Laurent, the most coveted stamp would be the uh, Rive Gauche one, so the earliest stamps. So this one, this is the pendant, the Maltese cross pendant with the thistle flower inside. Uh, it is crafted from a 24 karat gold plated uh, metal and it does have this orange and green enamel paintings on the sides. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, this pendant cross is actually one of the Robert Gussens designs. So, uh, as you may know, Robert Gussens um, was uh, the goldsmith. So he came from a family of goldsmiths and he started um, doing the uh, stoppers for uh, Cartier lighters. And also then later he created pen parts as well but because he started uh, studied uh, fashion history and jewelry history he was very influenced by the Byzantine um, uh, designs and uh, jewelry so this is actually how he met Chanel uh, because of yeah. her um, love for the Byzantine jewelry which started with Fulca de Verdura with the Maltese cross um, mm -hmm. uh, cuffs and um, Actually, after the work uh, he done for uh, Chanel, Balenciaga, and um, some other designers, uh, Yves Saint Laurent became his uh, major client because he was uh, commissioned to do the haute couture and runway pieces. So I believe this is the Robert Gussens um, design for Yves Saint Laurent, and this makes this uh, jewelry uh, highly collectible. And also, I think there are a few other designs with the um, orange and green enamel mm -hmm. but this cross is quite big and chunky um, so I would say um, you could definitely put a, 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 chain, a chain a chunky chain as well you because there is a pin through it like a safety pin style and, and wear, wear it as, as a brooch, as a brooch yes yeah. 
Uh, it is signed uh, Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche on the other side. But uh, let me maybe um, flip the yeah. screen for you so you will see how beautiful this. That would look so rock and roll if you had it with a big safety pin. Yeah, I think it's cool. Just it's look how like, stunning uh, it is. Westwood. Yeah. Yes. Or McQueen. Yeah, a McQueen or Westwood style. Yeah. Um, the condition is excellent. There is amazing. nowhere to enamel. Uh, gold plated metal is all intact. The whole mark is intact. So the condition I would say is 10, nine, yeah. nine and a half. Um, so how important is Gusson in jewelry for collectors it's, in terms of costume jewelry? I would say in terms of costume jewelry, there are two names you need to know. It's Robert Gusson's and Gripoa family mm -hmm. because their works are limited quantities, handmade and they are collector's pieces. And they only work with the big brands of the day, yes. which was Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, Borelli, Yves Saint Laurent, Le Balenciaga. Croix. Yes. Yeah. Chanel. I think they did some work, like, I think uh, Robert Gussens did some work with Kenzo on some limited occasions, but mostly that would be Chanel mm -hmm. um, and Yves Saint Laurent, the most, the most client, clients, the most important clients of his. Yeah. So let's have a look at the price. I'm very eager to find it out. <laughs> So, oh, it's a good price. It's a very good price. Six, so, wow. 650 pounds, which is 784 US dollars. The icon appeared over here, so you can have a look. The condition is excellent. And as Winnie said, you can wear it um, as a brush. You can buy um, a pin yeah. or you can add a chain. Actually, you have a lot of uh, room to add any chain you like and wear it mm -hmm. as a um, necklace long or shorter version. Yeah. So that price, is that um, on par with other collectors' uh, resale prices? Or I'd say we, it's still a little bit, I'd say it's a very competitive price because uh, the Gussens for Saint Laurent, well, Saint Laurent by itself becomes mm. very um, pricey. Yeah. It became pricey recently. Because I thought that would be a lot more. I'm yes. a bit surprised at 650. I assume that would be in the 800 pounds, seven, seven, seven to 800. So. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So you heard it from the experts. It's like the Antiques Roadshow, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> but Actually, maybe we should go there. Oh, yeah, Try I, I love work. Antiques Roadshow. Is it still going? It okay. is. It was yeah. going. Yeah. yeah. It's like the longest it's run. It's Yeah. It was, uh, sorry. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's going to say the Antiques Roadshow is like the longest running, really? the most syndicated, successful BBC show ever. There what? are. <laughs> yeah. They're it's like. like all out in 50 countries has been going on for 40 years. I saw them filming yeah. in, when I was visiting Kent uh, Antique Show. Yeah. They were that was actually, I think, around summertime. They were filming uh, the Christmas edit with the reindeer. Oh, really? <laughs> well, the, the auction house I used to work yeah. with, um, some of our specialists used to um, be, uh, be asked by BBC to, to do specialism, yeah. to talk about the shows. And how we were asked, how do you know? And how they do it is like, a, they will have thousands of of people show up and they will see everybody but if you they would they will single you out if, if they if one of the specialists looked at your items and they tapped you on the shoulder you apparently go into holding area and that's where you know you are onto something very very expensive oh, really? and they hold you and then literally you have two or three minutes to film with them and the reaction of the prices is genuine they don't know anything. So when you get a tap, you know you've got the real, the oh real deal. <laughs> so, uh, nice yeah. <laughs> so, Can um, you tap me for this one more round, please? Yeah. Two of them. <laughs> Two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, move on to more Louis, because um, we very rarely get Louis these days, and it's quite exciting to see these vintage pieces. We've got the Louis Vuitton Rad Radon, Randon bag which is basically like a shoulder bag. And this is the large GM size. And this is actually going back to Louis Vuitton's traveling routes. This is actually built for um, seafaring, travel, you know, uh, going on a cruise. Um, it's a really large bag. It has this sort of like bucket style drawstring and not drawstring, but draw enclosure with served by these leather shoulder straps. Oh, somebody wants to see the Gige clutch again. Let's just quickly show you that. Charlotte, no problem. So as you can see, calf box leather is very shiny. I'd say it's a very, very good condition. 
So this is the uh, bottom of the bag. There is minimal wear alongside the edges. That's the bottom of the bag. So externally, it is in very good condition. I think she wants to see the inside. The inside, yes. Yeah. So on the inside, there are some age spots because this is a canvas um, lining on the inside. So as you can see, there are some uh, age spots um, in there, but it's clean, it's not sticky. There are no pen marks or makeup marks, just the age spots. Other than that, and there's no odor to the bag, Christina, mm -hmm. you're worried about that. Um, the exterior is pretty much an eight, eight and a half out of 10, really. Yes. So yeah. And it has not been color, recolored or retouched. So, so it's all the original condition. So back to the Radon bag, Radonne bag or Donde bag. I can't quite remember how to pronounce. So it's a large GM size. This is in lovely condition. Um, it features the Louis Vuitton logo at the bottom. The patina is nice and even throughout. Um, just a few um, scuff marks just there. And it has some marks at the bottom. Uh, but otherwise, the fichette leather um, is very strong and secure. Inside, it has a nice and clean interior with the canvas lining. And it has this handy, I don't know if you can see, this handy little pouch pocket, which is actually detachable. I won't take it off. So you can actually um, pull that off and uh, you, can, you can have a little uh, separate clutch bag. So you so can just, just transfer it from one bag to exactly, another. Exactly, yes. In terms of age, I see the date stamp it is uh from uh 1993 so the date stamp sometimes the date stamps are hidden in uh ways to see a date stamps either on the inside tab here but or if you look on the loop the it's uh, sometimes it's hidden here as well you can just about see the date stamp just embossed there so this is from 1993 so this can be worn um sort of like over the shoulder or you can wear it like a sling bag to the front or it has two separate shoulder shoulder straps so you can wear it as a backpack, backpack as well oh, I love this idea. yeah it's a really and this is actually a unisex bag um so you know both men and women and um, i just think it's really really cool and you can imagine this sort of style of bag imagine on a cruise that's yeah, the idea very nautical. sailors yeah oh. very nautical like a sailor's bag so the price of this vintage piece? You know, actually, I was thinking that when you were showing the back, it would look amazing in an interior. If you yes. just put this, like, yes. open like this. Golf. I was going to say something really random. Big hydrangeas. Yeah, yes. Like a plunder. Is that yeah. terrible? No. no but it, it would look like, like you know, have sideboards yeah. with coffee books and kind of, if you put this, just like give some shape, maybe put some blanket yeah. inside. It would look amazing. Exactly. Like the way I've hung it, you can actually put some dried flowers in there. Oh, yeah. Or, um, you know, like wheat sheaf or whatever. Yes. It's actually very chic. It is like very, very, very nice for the interior. <laughs> very expensive planter. Yeah. So the, not. <laughs> we don't know. Let's have a look. So the price That's of this expensive. is uh, £695, which is 838 US dollars. All you need to do is just tap on the icon just there if you want to shop this unique vintage bag. So Christina, um, the Hermes date stamp faded or inside or clear? It's clear, let me show it to you. It's hidden with um, vintage pieces. Often it's hidden in the crease or in the fold and you can just about see, I hope you, my, the, the phone can pick this up. Can you see? There it is, it's quite crisp and clear. It's a H in circle stamping there, which is from 1978. Move on. You, let's do some more jewellery. Okay. I'm doing the jewellery. Yes. Okay, I'll go to this piece because yeah. I really love this piece. So it does come with its original uh, vintage Chanel box, as you can see. No worries, Christina, you're welcome. <laughs> so uh, this is... Yes, Sammy, we've got some Chanel jewellery um, earrings coming up, so don't worry. This is a large... Oh, I love this Chanel Coco necklace. It does feature silver hardware chain uh, with the interwoven leather inside. So it does remind you um, of a shoulder strap, the one you get on the classic flap. So the color of this is like I would say puder, beige puder, like something. Peter, yeah. Yes. So uh, there is some wear to the uh, leather. 
I will flip the screen uh, later to show you. Mainly due to the color of it, because it's very uh, light. But uh, in terms of the medallions, all the medallions are intact. So they are in multiple sizes from small ones to the medium and to the large. They do feature um, a Coco Chanel profile. Then you got this CC crossbones, crossbones? Yeah, crossbones, yeah. yeah. Crossbones. Um, and overall, it's a very nice and playful um, belt, which actually I, I prefer to wear it as a necklace. So let me have a look at the date stamp. That is two, I think it's 2005 or 2003 uh, spring collection, probably 2005. So the stamp isn't here on the lobster clasp, mm -hmm. but it's quite tiny. So Rachel, please correct me if I'm wrong. 2005 it's down is 2003. Three. Okay, 2003. So as you can see, the size is quite generous. I am size 12, mm -hmm. so it does fit me properly and there is still room. And due to the nature of the um, chain, I think you can actually clip the lobster clasp on just anywhere where you like on the chain. But I think it looks perfectly as, as a necklace. It can be double wrapped and worn like this. And this is how I, I really love this. Oh, I love it. I would wear it as a necklace. I would wear it as it's a necklace. It's layered. So let me kind of take. like eclectic. Yes, yeah. it is. So um, these are plastic. And because of the plastic, the necklace is not heavy, the, the belt necklace is not heavy. And it does look very nice with the different... Um, mm. It looks um, cute with what you're wearing. It's, it's quite nice. It yeah, it's quite The nice colors casual. are quite um, easy to match. Yeah. So they, they're like white, uh, black and beige. So they, they will match most of the outfits. And nautical stripes and a crossbow. Oh. oh, yeah! Oh, actually! It's wow. not that smart. It has Psychologically. that yeah, nautical. Yes. Um, it's like a pirate thing, yeah, something yeah, like this. Yeah. So just look how it, how beautifully it sits in um on their collarbone in here because it have different sizes of the medallions, so it does frame um very beautifully. Now could you please help yeah, me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it will just be. Oh, there it is. Yes, and. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. It comes with the box, guys. It does come with the vintage Chanel box. Uh, I will flip the screen for you. Um, and we'll be ready for the price in a minute. So as you can see, these are the double-faced um, pendants. But there is some minimal wear to the leather on the chain. So the price is £1,850, which is 2232 US dollars. The icon already appeared here on the screen, so you can have a look. And um, it, is a, it is a leather and metal chain, yes. And um, this type of necklaces, I've noticed that they do sell very quickly. And they always sell in the region of um, like 2000 some of them 2000 plus. So this is a very beautiful chain necklace which can be worn in multiple ways. So someone's asking about earrings, so we'll uh, feature these earrings. These oh, amazing. Show me. Oh, I love these. Guys, look at oh, these wow. earrings. I love this. Oh, the, are these Barbie collection? Uh, these are, I think, 93, but they do look like very a Barbie. Barbie. Very these Barbie, are yes. vintage Chanel, and look at that. That beautiful, look at the glitter on those, um, this amazing, very highly collectible item. It is so, so beautiful. So it features these large rhinestones, uh, crystal rhinestones, and it's offset with this almost like a bronzy or matte gold uh, faux pearl in the middle. And this is a sizable piece. So it is a good, I would say, looking at this two inches by two inches. Um, they're clip-on earrings. The Coco belt was £1,850, and you can just tap on that icon just there uh, if you want to read the information and the condition report on that. It is uh, £1,850, which is about £2,232 US dollars uh, CG. Uh, so these earrings, oh my gosh, how stunning are these? 
Can I try this? Thing? Yeah, yeah. They can try the other one on. Just take one. Oh, they are so so fun, and so these nice. are from ninety three collection, ninety three uh, autumn, so ninety three autumn collection. Just want to show you ninety three. They signed Chanel, and they're incredible. I think they're just so fun. Wow. Wow. It is. What's nice about these? They don't scream obvious CC um, Chanel, Chanel CCs. But you know it's Chanel. If you're a collector, you know. Uh, when you know, you know. And I just want to show you the condition. Um, let me just do the on this. How beautiful are these earrings? <laughs> Lots of hearts going. There is a tiny little scratch here and there. The crystals are incredible. Nowhere to the crystals. Nowhere to the back. It is... Uh, exactly, we were saying it's still shiny after 20 it's, years. It's amazing. It's amazing. Shiny. You can see it's signed 93A. Uh, it's 93? It is 93. Yeah, 93A collection. Four Let five. me show you the other clip. So, side by side. Sorry, and that way. The other clip is in great condition. This one has nowhere. And love it's absolutely stunning they are around about two inches by two inches so it's a good you can see already on against my hand how big the scale and impressive size of these um, bell earrings so when you're ready Rachel it, these come with the original box they feel strong and secure on and they don't actually actually feel too heavy uh, these are 1095 pounds which is 1000 321 US dollars. I thought there would be a lot more than that. That is a fantastic price for well, these highly collectible and very rarely come onto the market, these earrings. So, like that. Ruru is asking, what's the best way to store jewellery to stay looking like this? So you would definitely need to store it flat if we're talking about uh, earrings or necklaces or brooches and also um, not in direct contact with um, daylight. And don't um, spray perfume on it. Yeah, like so it, yeah. what I always say, do your makeup, shower, makeup, um, perfume, let it sit. And then before leaving the house, just put on the jewelry and that's it. Because all the makeup and everything doesn't go well with the vintage jewelry, especially with pearls, mm. like the, the white pearls. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And another way, um, you know, sometimes where you get um, those silica pouches where absorbs moisture. Um, keep them aside and put them inside with your uh, jewellery because yes. it, it will absorb any moisture so it will stop it from any internal t tarnish especially if you live in a humid country um, that right. would absorb yeah that absorbs absorb some of the moisture and also actually in the air as well don't put them all together keep them separately so the metals do not uh, actually touch each other each other and um, you know you can buy any box which it has dividers and something soft inside like the leather lining or maybe felt lining or suede lining and you can just store them earrings separately uh, brooches necklaces whichever you like yeah, so I personally them. store mine in the stacker boxes um, I'm not sure if it's UK company but it's called stacker so you just stack box on box and then this way uh, you can use different sizes of boxes and you don't need to add like a full new set uh, if that makes sense um, and in terms of cleaning don't clean with any uh, how would I say harsh chemicals or uh, maybe water and soap not always go well with the vintage jewelry so just try to use either special like foam cleaners for vintage jewelry or just maybe wipe with the cotton bud or something like this so we have another pair of earrings oh, another nice. stunner this one let me show you something about this actually <sighs> these are amazing no, you, 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 yeah, okay <laughs> so oh, i just love these earrings um hearts and pearls and chanel 
the three perfect combinations. It is absolutely stunning. LSS, if you want to see the Gig clutch, there is a handbag icon just here. Just tap on that and you can see the thumbnail and you can read further information on that. But the clutch is roughly 900 pounds, which is probably roughly around about 12, 1200 US dollars at the top of my head. I found it. Oh, what have you found? Look. Oh, wow. Reference. Sorry, my, sorry my, uh, my phone is not in its best shape. Yeah. So that's Claudia Schiffer, I think, wearing. Yeah. Uh, same. Same earrings. Earrings. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's wonderful. From <laughs> what magazine was that? Or? Probably Vogue, but I, I'm not sure. I just have the screen. And yeah. Always, you know, I'm always safe. So these are the same earrings and they feature the little faux pearl with the CC logo. It's heart shaped with all these little pearl enamels. Oh, I know these are just absolutely incredible. How wonderful and so whimsical and fun. Absolute dream. Now these um, do feature 24 karat gold gilding. They are signed Chanel and these are from our favorite Chanel designer. They're from the collection 28. Uh, 1992. So they're 1992 and they're from the Victoire de Castel name for Chanel. Um, they, I mean, they are incredible. They are, they, I need to point out, they do have some signs of wear. Let me just show you, <coughs> maybe on the other side. Uh, for reference, I mean, for design preference, they are absolute one of a kind. Um, there is some enamel peeling, you can just see, which is slightly uh, coming off. And there is some residue glue mark there. It has been previously um, been repaired, but the main CC in the heart is in very good condition. The faux pearls are just show some light age spots, but generally no enamel peeling there. And um, the gold gilding is excellent. There's no tarnish. And uh, you can see they're signed um, Chanel Collection 28, and they feel strong and secure when on as well. So these will come with a complimentary Luxury Promise dust bag. And um, when you're re ready, Rachel, I would say this is a good probably six and a half or seven out of 10 in terms of condition. So these are very highly sought after, but incredibly rare, 1,495 pounds, which is 1,804 US dollars. So if you want to shop this at the moment, those three icons look so pretty together, don't they? they are. I Oh, imagine getting all three of them at once. That'd be fun. I actually think uh, the second, like the first pair of clips will go very well with the necklace. Yes. Yeah, 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 exactly. So there you go. All you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. So someone's asking about bags now. Maybe we should do a couple of bags. Somebody I think asked about the beige. beige. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Go ahead. So we do have a lovely... What was the color you called it last time? Like uh, milk tea? tea? Milk tea, milk tea. yeah. Uh, so a light beige color. So uh, this is quite a different shape to the classic, um, like medium size. So it's more square comparing to the elongated um, shape of the um, medium classic flap. So it is probably also 10 inches? Would it uh, be 11? Yeah, I think so. It looks like a 10 inch bag. Yeah, let's just let's let's try on this. It is 10 inches. 10 inches bag. So it has more square shape comparing to the classic flap bag as you can see the color is amazing there is no color transfer on the other side or on the front actually there is very minimal wear to the corners just maybe i'll point out some in here and here and this is probably the most wear you will get overall the condition is very very good i'd say it's um eight right mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, outside the gold plated hardware 24 karat gold plated it's hardware really good. is very shiny there yeah. is no tarnish and i hardly see any hairline scratches too so and the chain yeah. as well um it has not been recolored no. or retouched no and it feels very soft it is very soft so let me try so this is how the inside looks like you to get some press marks from the chain on the flap in here. I think the uh, Hermes clutch sold. 
Did. It found that was taken. It did. Oh, the Ernest Clutch Shop. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's a very beautiful yeah. piece. So it does open up to one compartment. Uh, it has still a zip uh, pocket with the Chanel CC medallion. As you can see, little pocket in here, a lipstick pocket. The inside is very, very clean. There are no pen marks, no makeup stains, nothing. And you get one additional pocket in here. So let me have a look at the sticker. It is one it is one series, so that will be um, 89 to 91. And it's a very beautiful bag. And condition is, I would say it's even nine, honestly, because this is very clean without any color transfer or marks. So let's have a look at the price, Rachel. Let me try, uh, in the meanwhile, I will try this bag for you. So this is how it will look as a shoulder bag. And in a moment, I'll uh, will feature the black version. We've got actually the hair. same rectangular square upright classic black. We've got it in beige and, and black. In black. So as you can see, this sits as a higher crossbody. So it was designed to be worn over the shoulder. And the price is three thousand seven hundred uh, pounds, which is four thousand four hundred sixty-five US dollars. And the icon is available over here. So, uh, Elena has just showed the beige version. I've actually got the black version here. So it's the same spec. Um, it's, the, uh, it's based on the classic model, but obviously it's slightly more rectangular and more upright. Whereas the normal, usual, timeless flat is more like a, a rect rectangular, more like an east-west. Um, elongated. Elongated, yeah. So this one is in good condition. However, it is it does so, show some signs of wear. Um, the uh, it's crafted from lambskin leather. Um, there is some scuffing marks to the edges of the bag. Uh, the corners do show some light wear here and here, and but it's nice and clean along the uh, bottom here. It's nice and smooth, and there is some light wear there and there as well the side panels are nice and good and the back is also in lovely condition and uh, the chain um, generally is in good condition with just some slight uh, signs of tarnish just slight slight tarnish but the main cc turnstile lock still has its gold gilding um, so there's some some light wear to the front uh, in terms of the inside, the inside is in beautiful, good, clean condition. It's super soft. Uh, this bag appears not to have been recolored or reconditioned. It is original. And inside it is uh, nice and clean. Let me just move out all the lining. And, and again, this is the same one series. So it's from 1989 to 91. And the benefits of the sort of rectangular size bag, it has actually a fully functioning zipped pocket inside. So this one only comes with its a, a serial sticker intact. Um, to be transparent, I would say this is a good probably six and a half to seven out of ten. Um, but it will be reflected in the price. So when you're ready, Rachel, in the meantime, when she pins the price, in terms of how you can wear it, you can definitely wear it over the shoulder and you can wear it as a high cross as well. So this is fantastic price, under 3,000 pounds. So it's 2,995, which is 3,614 US dollars. If you're looking for your very first starter classic bag, remember classic bags are close to six and a half, the very, very small one now. In and the, the boutique. In the boutique. 6.9. Yes, yeah, yeah, 6.9, mm -hmm. so close to seven. So it's like, this is half the price. Yes. So, yeah, and it's 24 karat gold plated yeah. hardware as exactly. well. Exactly, and it's vintage from 89 to 91. So if that's your birth year, within those that parameters, this could be the bag for you. So all you need to do is just tap on that above icon just there. Uh, the yellow one. Should we do the yellow one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. If you don't mind putting the yes, let me and know. I will show the yellow one. I know you so, love the yellow I one. Love You're so excited this. about I, this. I love, love, love this. For those, I mean, I love Diana. We'll show a um, black one. The well. black one as well. So we've got two Diana flats coming up. This is the lambskin version. And this is a super hard to find linen version. And I've called it chartreuse. So it's almost like a highlighter or an acid yellow. Um, 
beautiful condition. You can see that gorgeous linen exterior. Very hard to find this color, and it's even harder to find this sort of raw linen exterior. Um, features the 24 karat gold gilding. Um, it is the perfect little nine inch size, which is also very sought after. And overall, it's in beautiful, clean condition with no color transfer. And um, the corners just, just show very light signs of wear. Uh, no wear to the bottom here. And just very, ever so light wear to the corners there and there as well. Um, I just think that color is such a joy to look at. Uh, the gold gilding is excellent. It features a long chain and the chain is actually designed to be worn crossbody style. And you can see how um, they've continued the linen through the interwoven chain as well. And, they, and there's no loss of gilding on the um, a gold chain. So inside it comes with its dust bag its original cotton felt dust bag. It is a two series from 91 to 94. Generally it's clean. It's got a small little pen mark just here. Uh, it also comes with its original authenticity card, which is shown here. So it's got its dust bag, serial sticker and um, card as well. And the main interior is actually lovely and clean. To me, it gives me that 70s vibe. Maybe this fabric. Really? I think this is so stylish. It is so, so I don't, stylish. I don't see this bag as old. I no. see it like the color is so pop. Yeah, very modern, I suppose, yes. in terms of the color. Um, it is the nine inch size and it is the perfect crossbody oh style. it goes so well with your dress. Does it? Yes. Maybe because I'm wearing black. No, it's because because you have this yellow highlight. stitching in here. Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, now I see in the mirror here. Yes, that's right. So the price of this highly uh, collectible piece is 3000 that's such a good price, £3,800, which is $4,586 US dollars. I have easily seen this on First Dibs and other resale websites for £4,500 easily, easily. I know you can wear this with bright other colours like pink yes. and orange or, or with like all beiges and a white linen shirt. Yeah. The bag is very refreshing, I agree. And it's actually a really good alternative to a classic flat bag oh. because... They fit a lot, it's more practical. I actually prefer single flat bags compared to the double. Because I do carry a lot of things and yeah. it is quite for me. Yeah. Even the small one. I know. Instagram also wanted to see the bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So we'll move on to the leather version. We have the leather diamond flat bag. Yeah, so it's the same spec. It is a nine inch bag. Um, 24 karat gold plated hardware is in excellent condition. There's maybe some little hairline scratches on the uh, closure. As you can see, uh, the shoulder strap with leather is in excellent condition. I don't see any tarnish and the uh, leather inside is very tight and um, hasn't loosened up. So um, the condition of this bag is excellent. It's very soft, very shiny. It's a lambskin leather. Let me just show you like this. Uh, the corners have some minimal wear here, here as well. So there is a minimal wear to the corners, but the bottom of the bag is clean and shiny. Also other sides. So there is no color transfer. I don't see any major uh, scratches on the um, out leather. And let's look inside. So it does open to a single flap bag with one main compartment. So this is a uh, two series, which is 91 to 94. As you can see, the inside is clean overall. There are some minimal marks here and there, but nothing major. And it does have a zip compartment with the working zip closure and with CC medallion still attached. So the pockets are clean and it only comes with the serial um, sticker, but it uh, we will provide the uh, luxury promise authenticity card in addition um, to this bag. And it also has a felt, um, uh -huh. which you will, just a second, put in between the flap closure just to protect the leather beneath like this. 
So uh, the price, um, let's have a look at the price. So as Winnie mentioned, it is designed to be worn crossbody and I would say it's a very comfortable length to be uh, worn as a crossbody, but absolutely don't mind wearing it as a shoulder bag as well. And I think we tried to double wrap it. And yes. To, to wear it, so you can have a double look under the flap and wear it as a uh, shorter shoulder bag as well. So, what is the price of this one? 3,800? Yes. So the price of the black uh, lambskin uh, small Diana bag is 3,800 pounds, which is 4,586 US dollars. Die can appear over here and we do cover info duties and customs. As you can see, this is the back. Okay, so shall we do some jewelry in this? Yes, please. Can we do my brooch? Your brooch? Yeah. Okay. Brooch? So Ra yes. Oh I love this. Rachel, brooch. Rachel, I love Rachel. She sees something <laughs> and like, oh, that's it's my mine. necklace. Wow, yes. that's my brooch. I so. love this piece. I love La Croix. It's I very know. interesting that we managed, like, it, we managed to source uh, some of these some really of these iconic pieces. Items. Yeah, they, that, some of these pe these La Croix pieces are actually harder to get hold of than Chanel, certain Chanel yes. pieces. Because the quantity so is just not available. This brooch made me love La Croix. Oh, really? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it all started with this brush. Yeah. Okay. So, as you can see, this is amazing brush. We've, uh, I think we've showed last uh, week or maybe the week before, we showed you um, other Lacroix hearts we have uh, available. But this, this is like the best of any heart I have seen from the Lacroix. It does feature this, like, how, what's it called? Like, you know, um, when you have strings uh, in, in the balls of twine? In, yeah, something yeah. like this. So it does feature this motif all over the brush and also in the middle with the CL, um, it's Christian Lacroix initials in uh, in the center. And it is a very like, structured brush, so you, there is some, um, some dimension to it, as you can see from the side, so it's not flat. Um, what? <laughs> I just want it. She wants it. Rachel wants this brush, and I understand why, because this is such a beautiful design, and um, it is signed Christian Lacroix, uh, made in France on the other side, so um, it has a pin uh, needle closure. Overall, the condition is excellent. There is just one tiny spot in here. I will now flip the screen so you can see how beautiful it is. Just look. This is stunning. It's so perfect. Uh, and I will do the backpack after jewelry and we also have Chanel caviar bags, yes. So the condition is, it's, I would say it's an eight and a half, closer to nine if it wasn't for this spot. The pin is in working condition, it closes securely and this is how the brush looks. With Lacroix, uh, he studied the uh, costume history and he wanted to become a museum curator and when he designed his first clothing line and then uh, jewelry uh, and accessories line. So he took all his knowledge and actually he took it as an inspiration and this has transferred into his uh, designs. And uh, most common designs of the Lacroix, I would say, would be the hearts and the crosses. So uh, it is, uh, I think, the best from the Lacroix uh, I have ever seen to date. And I will show it to Instagram as well. And uh, his jewelry will be big and bold and chunky with different types of materials used. It could be uh, strings, it can be glass, ena enamel, or just gold-plated jewelry. So, are we ready for the price, Rachel? I don't think so. We may have to come back to this because we had to do a little okay, swap. So, swap. swap. Okay, so we will come back to this, but you have seen the brush so if you like it please let us know we will come back to this later so where was it oh I, no, no wait oh, wait i've got it you've got, got it it's okay. it's ready good news it's ready so i think oh god am i in the right one sorry hold on okay. um we do have it two seconds it's coming okay it's coming we'll do the um 
Oh, I know what I know why it's happening. Do Do you need my help? No, literally five seconds, and I'll put it up for you. Okay. So let's do the backpack. Where's the backpack? No, do the price. Do the price on that. We will we will reveal the price, but um, <laughs> the, backpack. Yeah. the backpack, yeah, the backpack, caviar bags. We do have caviar bags, and we do have a backpack. Yeah. So the backpack, the backpack is amazing. It is amazing, and honestly, been ah, the price is there. The price is there, six hundred ninety five pounds, which is eight hundred thirty eight U S dollars. That can appear over here for my brooch. <laughs> for for Rachel's brooch and also we also have Rachel's oh no it's all it's sorry old. it's all <laughs> we don't have it so Rachel's brooch is still available yeah what what sold no no <laughs> my, my necklace my <laughs> necklace sold is it your backpack Rachel <laughs> so You're we do have this Rachel beautiful up. backpack and with Chanel backpacks especially the vintage ones I find them to be really nice they're and beautiful. stylish and and I was looking at the clasp earlier this seems like bigger than normal. I need to compare it to the jumbo, but this clasp is like mega. It's so epic. It just it looks, yeah. it pops it's out. It like really, really pops out. With this, yeah, with these baubles as well. Baubles. Yeah, I just love this. Um, it's crafted from caviar, caviar skin. Leather. And if you're gonna get a backpack, make sure it's caviar, caviar skin definitely. because it's just really hard wearing, durable, easy to look after, and um, really lovely, this bag. It's like a small, little compact size definitely carry a lot of items in there and just so love. it does open to one compartment so it is quite roomy as you can see you do get one zipped um, pocket in here with CC medallion still attached and we also have a serial sticker um, it will be hard to yeah. get this one um, it is oh, a, it's a little bit worn, but I would say probably it's like three, four series. Yeah, it's either a two or three or so four series. So yeah, it's late 90s. Yeah, It's the late 90s, 90s bag. Um, the sticker is worn, uh, but it is signed Chanel and uh, made in Italy in here. And you do have another zipped um, pocket on the other side. As well. So it yeah. is the string uh, closure on the inside and then... It is a 24 karat gold plated uh, CC yeah. lock. I love this handy back pocket. Look. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, oh, look, it's very handy. It's very you handy. can put your car details. Yeah, if you want. It. Yeah, if you want something a bit more secure On and the, hidden away, yes. that is really really handy. I love this detailing. Yeah. Just look, you get the um, caviar leather strap, and then you get the uh, classic flap uh, like um, chain yeah, with the, the chain. interwoven leather as well. And the chain is fixed, the, the length of the chain is fixed, so... Um, it's not adjustable? No, not adjustable. Let's just try this. Yeah. So I would, I would personally wear it like this on one shoulder, and you can actually cute. wear it uh, with both uh, straps like this. Cute! But if you can, you can wear on both. And I've seen some of the more trendier oh. guys and girls wearing it like this. Which works! Which works. At least you know it's in front of you, security-wise. Oh, let me try something else. And maybe I will make a fool out of myself, but who knows? No, it should be the other way around. So, like this. Ah, oh, yeah, it yes. works. It like works. Cross body style. Cross body style <laughs> as well. So, as you can see, there are many ways to wear a backpack. And especially since they introduced the 22 bag mm -hmm. uh, in both uh, as a shoulder bag and a backpack, I think backpacks are back to the trendy and fashion side. Yes, yeah, it's back in fashion again. And this looks much better than the 22. Oh, one. definitely. It's just cute. Let me show the corners. So I would say there, there is nowhere to the corners. Actually, yeah. I don't see any. Because it's caviar skin. It's really hard to, yeah. to, to, to wear it off. So there is just tiny, maybe, I don't even see if there is anything on the sides. But overall, as you can see, it is nice and shiny. And there is literally nowhere <laughs> to the corners. Oh, everyone else agrees. Prefer the vintage. I completely agree. And I just love this oversized CC logo. Yeah, it's with the, really cool. With the spheres in here. Yeah. So uh, there is minimal wear to the um, to the uh, oval or round um, quilted things in here. So let's have a look uh, at the price. Oh, actually, Anna as well agrees that it's much nicer than the 22. So the price is 6,163 uh, 
pounds, which is 7,438 US dollars, and the icon appeared over here. Right, let's move on to another facet. Oh, I love this one. So, comes with its box, and this time it is. This is navy. It doesn't that. look navy. I feel like it's navy. No, is it black? It looks like black. Let me just Let's open it. this. It is navy. Maybe. It's navy. Is, yeah, I think the stitching is navy when you look oh, at yes, that. Yeah, it's navy. Is navy. Oh, no. It's quite rare to come by. Yeah, so this is actually a navy classic flat back. Yeah, it kind of looks navy in the, in the, on the screen. So how you can tell it's navy is you always go by the stitching. Look at the stitch because the stitching should match the uh, overall colour of the leather. So this is a 10 inch navy classic flat bag. I don't know how rare that I is now. I love navy. I know. I, I've always wanted a navy classic flat bag as well as all the other colours. Yeah. But there is a... <laughs> but, but there's, there's something... so much harder to find comparing to the black one. Yeah, even beige is easier to find in a navy bag. Yes. So this is in lovely condition. You can see it's original lambskin leather with the quilted matte lasso design. This is classic navy. Now you can see the navy color, a really, really dark navy color. It's offset with the 24 karat gold gilding. Um, it has a handy uh, back pocket at the, uh, the back. And in terms of wear, um, very minimal wear to the corners of the bag. And, is that a little mark? There's a little scuff mark just here, but otherwise generally nice and smooth and very little wear to the corners here and there here as well. I know that this is just so, so special with the navy color, um, a flat bag as well. This is a 10 inch medium size. Yeah, you can see, you can see how navy the, the zipper is. So um, it is definitely a navy colorway. And let's I'm compare just going it. To compare the color next to the uh, black Diana. Oh, yeah. So yeah, you can, you tell. can clearly tell, tell the, difference. That's the difference. But if you just look at this bag by itself, it's really hard to say, mm -hmm. like if it's navy on black. Yeah. So it's a very beautiful color. Definitely. Almost. Like yeah. uh, nice, night blue. Yeah, midnight. Midnight blue. The Hermes uh, version of Blue Nuit, midnight blue. So um, double flat bag. Um, has that lovely contrasting burgundy lining. It is a, a one series, so it's from 1989 to 91. It has its hologram sticker intact, no card, but comes with the original box, no dust bag, but we will provide you with a complimentary luxury promise dust bag as well. So uh, I would give this a good sort of seven and a half to eight out of yeah, ten. Eight to eight. Yeah, but, you know, there is a little, I just oh, want to so show, so. yeah, there is a slight little scuff mark there, but the corners are good, the edges are good, the panels, the side panels are really good. Um, this uh, feels super supple, soft, has that beautiful buttery sheen and um, no color retouching. This is all original color. And in terms of how you can wear this, you could wear this over the shoulder, very, it's very chic. And uh, you can just about wear it over cross body. Uh, it's a high cross, it's just under my chest. Or you could wear it doubled up with a strap, double looped over your shoulder. And this is the sort of the 10 inch medium size. And the price for this lovely it's bag. really good. Is it? Oh, oh my gosh, how good is it? Rachel's saying it's good. £3,900, that is a, that is a deal. <laughs> I guess you mean me. Yeah, I'm like, like we need to double check our price. Yeah, 3000 I love how you're like, <laughs> okay, I'll put it Obviously. away. So £3,900, it, it's a really competitive I'm price. Just, it's, yeah. it's, it's not only competitive, it's a very oh, good price. Yeah, or oh, a classic flap generally, because now vintage ones are beyond four thousand pounds now, yes. aren't they? I say it's four two, two four, four three five, yeah. for the small one and four eight around four exactly. five, four eight for it. So it's three thousand nine hundred pounds, which is four thousand seven hundred and seven US dollars. And all you need to do is just tap on that icon if you want to see further imagery and read the full condition report on this bag. Now uh, another great bag. Do you want to? I know this is I a fantastic. That. Yeah, this is a fantastic price. Now this has. Uh, <laughs> are you tempted? I know. Yeah. I'm not going to get that one instead. 
Yeah, yeah because that is actually quite, you know how hard it and is to get really navy. And navy rings, I have you. a navy flag. I have the only. Do you? Yeah. Oh, you have one. one. Yes. Oh, yeah, I that's don't have true. A black one. <laughs> <laughs> so this, who loves a camera bag? And um, if Thank you sure. guys <laughs> don't mind your bag having a little bit of TLC to it, this bag has had a bag spa. We, um, we've actually recolored it back to its original beige color and giving it a, a, a leather freshen up and spruce. So this is a vintage camera bag in this gorgeous, almost like a pale beige or chalky beige color. This is chalk, chalk. chalky, chalk, chalk. Yeah, yeah, chalk. I've just seen the price. Yeah. It's a fantastic price, price. yeah. <laughs> Features the CC logo. Um, oh, Ruru loved the green one. Did you? Your green one was very similar to this, wasn't it, Ruru? Um, this is uh, features the Matalasse quilting. What? The price is ridiculous. I know. That's because it's had a bit of TLC. But still, even for the yeah. TLC, it's like yeah. Ridiculous. We, you know, this like wait till you see the price because this is a really good. Somebody who's after a. Um, Camera I don't mind. Like, I um, don't and mind. you are on a limited budget, just give yourself 30 seconds, we'll be revealing the price. Uh, has the outer pocket, um, there, it has the original 24 karat gold gilding. There is some slight um, loss of shine on the hardware, just be aware, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's probably more noticeable on the side tassel, but the main tassel, you can see that beautiful 24 karat gold gilding is still there. Um, it is uh, generally nice and clean inside. Thank you. Nice and clean. And it includes its original serial sticker. And this is a really early model. This is just a six digit number. So it's, it's, before, it's 84 to 86 probably? Yes, 84 to 86. So um, it's a really, really early. This is example of, uh, can you just see how big the font size and it's a six digit number. So this is a, a good example of the early serialized uh, Chanel bag. So if you see numbers like this, it's just a very, very early, early model. So the price of this, before we do that, let me just quickly show you. Let me just quickly you. ask yeah. you, uh, just for, for our viewers, what has been retouched in this It's bag? just the leather. Just the leather, not yeah. the inside, no, not, no. not the shoulders. No, uh, we left the hardware intact as it is. The only thing that we had to do, uh, we reconditioned the leather. The leather was very, very dry. Uh, we re like uh, re uh, restored the piping. You know, sometimes the piping scuffs, yes. it scuffs open. Yes. That had been restored, and we recolored it back to its original color. So but we it, never this changed. Is so soft, I wouldn't even tell that it. Had we only work like... with the best, best bag people, but this bag is very people. Soft. Yeah. Normally you can feel if it mm. has yeah. been, but, but I this, can't. It's like yeah, so the people we work with are specialists with hats, vintage um, bags. So they know and they understand. And over time, this will get softer and softer. And this was so about three it. months for it to be cleaned up. And the good Perfect. thing about bag spa, there's nothing wrong with the bag spa. Bag spa is actually good. Think of it as um, a health check for your bag. They actually recondition the bags because leather is a skin. So sometimes, depending on the use and the way it's stored, it's good to have a bit of a freshen up, restore some moisture back into the leather. We do that to our skin. So exactly. Why not do, why not do the, the bag? bag? Exactly. Yes. So the price... The price is insane. It's this insane. is this is actually a crime, I would say. <laughs> to sell this. What's that? <laughs> Ready? Yes. Da, 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 da. It is only 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. This is crazy. You can't even buy a walk. No. For this, for this amount of We money. have jewelry more expensive yes. than this. 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds. Which is bizarre. only 144 US dollars, is it, Rachel? <laughs> Hundred and forty. Yeah, yeah. No. there is a little. I think there's a zero I missing. Think I think might have uh, missed Got, something. I think mean, you were so, so excited. <laughs> that's like you know they say like the catch of the day. Yes, yeah, this is the, the catch, catch of, of the day. day. So definitely a catch. That or the navy bag is definitely yes. a catch of the day. I can't believe the navy <laughs> bag is below four k. Yeah. So if you want to, we've got revealed these two brilliantly priced bags. 3,900 for a navy 10 inch classic flap, which is the one in the middle. And then we've got the 1,200 pound um, uh, lambskin camera, camera bag, which is on the bottom icon just there. 
Let's uh, move on. We've only got uh, two more bags and some jewellery left now. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that one? <laughs> and I'll do this one. has it in her hand. Yes. I already have it in my hand. So, well, if you are after two stylish work bags, I always think these shoulder totes are great work bags. This is, this is a great bag for everyday wear. Exactly. Really, like, um, oh. hat, so like with beautiful leather. I'll do my first one. This is a lambskin version. Uh, shoulder tote with, oh, is it my one? Yes. Thank you. Comes with two little upright shoulders. I love this design. I, I love, love this. this. I, I think this is a really we've good had, We've had this in before, and I just think it's the perfect size. Yeah, it's the perfect, perfect work bag. Um, lambskin is super soft. Has that handy exterior pocket. It's the same similar CC logo as you see on the backpack just there. And this is a fully functioning uh, uh, lock with an, an external pocket. And it has um, two interior pockets as well. So one pocket there and one pocket there. And it has a handy central pocket in the middle as well. So very, you know, in, it's actually very compact, you can fit a lot of items in there. Uh, it has its original series sticker, it's a three series from 94 to 96. And it's course, it features this um, beautiful 24 karat gold gilded bauble, toggle. And um, in terms of wear, um, it's generally a good condition. There is a, a one scuff mark just there, scuff mark there, the base is nice and clean and uh, very minimal wear up to those corners there and there. Uh, front and back, light little hairline scratches to be expected as it's a lambskin leather, but nice and clean along the back as well. And the hardware is very good. So this one just comes with its serial sticker and it's a three series. So this one is actually next. It's uh, uh, 96 to 97 and it is a four series bag. So this is a caviar, uh, black caviar skin leather. As you can see, the condition is very, very good. There are no wear to the corners. So the base of the bag looks very good. There are some press marks over here and there. And here are the corners again. So overall, uh, the condition is, I'd say it's seven and a half probably. Yeah. So uh, it has maybe some D shape in here but if you st stuck it with some um, soft uh, paper it will come back to its shape on the front you do have this handy pocket with the CC closure which is it's actually very let me see uh, there is some wear to the pocket on the uh, lambskin side so one side is land, uh, lined with the caviar leather the other one with the lambskin so there is minimal wear uh, on the inside of the pocket and it opens to one main compartment with um, one zipped pocket and one slit pocket. So uh, the, um, I think the serial sticker has worn off but it does come with its authenticity card and as you can see this is four series. So the inside overall is in good condition as you can see here and it still has its Chanel um, pull um, to the zipper attached. So this is, I think, the 11 inch uh, bag. Yeah, mine must be similar, 11 inches. Yes, yeah. I think they are both 11 inches. So it is uh, a little bit bigger than the medium classic bag. Yeah. But overall, very good condition with the gold plated hardware, very shiny and the leather is still uh, interwoven um, in between uh, the uh, chains. Yeah. So, so two very good work bags. I think they're both, you know, Fantastic. No, it, it wouldn't sit as, as a, a one I want. My one can, but it looks a bit odd. So it is a proper shoulder bag, but it's a very comfortable one. Yeah. Because you can wear it mm -hmm. like this. So I think the camera one sold. Must have done. Yeah. Has the camera bag yeah. sold? Yes. Yay! Congrats. Congratulations. <gasps> Let us know who That's bought amazing. it. That is amazing. Can the beige? Yes, it can. Let me just quickly show you. Whoever just bought it, maybe you and quite. It's designed to be worn as a crossbody style bag. So, uh, congratulations. Or, okay, so uh, Ruru, I think, is asking about this bag. If it oh, can yeah. be worn crossbody. So, I think, in theory, it, it can, can be. Yeah. But on me, it looks a little bit 
Do you want me to swap no, round? When... No. I don't know. I think yeah. your strap is actually a bit smaller. Mine's shorter. Think so. shorter. Yeah. Um, this one has a bit more of a drape, and you can yes. wear it crossbody, but it looks to me it looks. I a bit don't odd. need either of these crossbody. No, no they're actually are... designed to be worn as shoulder a shoulder bag. bag. It is a shoulder bag. Yes. Yeah. So it does look a little bit like it does feel strange a little bit because it's yeah. just pressed towards the chest. You can, it's but very it's very comfortable. I mean, you have Paul Ruru saying she's five one. Okay, go on then. But you're kind of an oak size. I don't think <laughs> it really depends on the height. It probably also depends on um, how you. Oh, the medium beige. Okay, let me SK. I'll just quickly oh, show you. I'm about five actually. foot three, <laughs> actually, and you can SK, but it's sitting on under my chest. is a high cross. Look how good it is on Rachel. Oh, it looks good on you, Rachel. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it like this. I'd still wear it as a shoulder bag. I think it's not very comfortable to actually get inside the bag when it's yeah. cross body. It's, it's much more comfortable. It's more, and it's good if you have to run for a bus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or you're riding a bike. Yes, actually. <laughs> Why not? No, like, well, bye everyone. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Me and my bike. So Me did we reveal now. the price? Let's so, uh, yeah. So the uh, lambskin version I had here. Where is that gone? Here. <laughs> this is a uh, two thousand four hundred pounds, which is around about twenty eight hundred US dollars. And the caviar version is two thousand eight hundred pounds, which is roughly three thousand three hundred and seventy nine US dollars. It's a very great price, especially for the caviar one. Yeah, it's caviar. It's under three thousand, and caviar is the most durable skin leather uh, from Chanel, so you can wear it and yeah it will serve you great yeah exactly before we actually finish up on the jewelry i've got yes. one more bag and actually um i to show this bag yes oh, i really love that. this wicker bag um such a fun bag uh highly collectible when it comes to the wicker bags um this is the large little shopper style wicker bag imagine if you're walking along Shop, uh, on. Wicker bags are so popular right now. Everybody then, does them. Lower, Celine, yeah. everybody. It's become like the espadrille of all the designer brands. Yes. Yeah. Everybody every has designer them. brand has an espadrille, and every designer brand has a wicker, a wicker bag. bag. Yeah, a raffia wicker bag. So this is a vintage wicker bag with a, a shopper style tote has all these incredible cc's uh, running along it's a mixture of lambskin leather and you can see that sort of rattan wicker style fabric um uh, straw it has one two three four five uh one two three four five uh, cc's on each size there's 10 in total overall the condition is good uh, the bottom i can't believe how clean that bottom is actually considering this is a light color uh, has very minimal wear to the edges of the wicker bag uh, just light wear here and there's a little scratch there uh, the top handle does show some light wear so there's a little few marks along the top handle where it's been held but the main body is nice and clean and there's a little mark here as well. So the handles do show some wear. Inside the bag, if you don't mind holding that, um, Elaine, that'd be so great. So it does come with its um, dust, dust bag. bag, yes. And it comes with a little um, pouch where if you want to keep things a bit more secure, you don't want things to be on show, um, it's large enough to put an iPad in there. So it's a good size um uh, pouch in, and it doesn't come apart so it's always permanently attached um, in terms of serial sticker does it come with a serial sticker maybe it should be inside the pouch no? I couldn't quite see it yeah. it is yes it's inside the pouch you're right it is a four series you could just about see the the, the um, yeah, to so, yeah, 96 to 97. And it is signed Chanel uh, made in Italy. Yeah, which is just here. So I want oh, to give you a bag. quick life hack. When you see these open top bags where there is no magnetic closure and you're worried about the security, um, there are things you can do. So if you don't mind holding the bag, it obviously comes with a Chanel dust bag, but if you set that aside, all our bags come with a luxury promise dust bag. So we've got one of these ones. And sometimes when I have my open top bags, I use the dust bag inside the bag and to keep my bag nice and clean and to keep things secure, I use this as the main bag. So I put all my items inside the and dust bag nice and then I use the drawstring closure to close it and it's all inside like that. 
Plus, it doesn't show, no one can see what's inside it. That's you know true. all your items are secure. And if you spill anything, it's within inside the pal dust bag. So don't just use your dust bag, our luxury dust promise dust bag, as, as a cover bag, but also use it as a inside bag, the big bag inside the big bag as well. And also, if you want something uh, like stylish or a pop of color many brands do show like a contrast they do sell like a, a, a pouches with these string clothes that's a good idea like I know prada has but where as well yeah they do. so and the price point is very accessible like probably around 200 pounds so yeah. you can always get them and put them inside and exactly it's very nice um especially uh, I saw, the, the idea came about because i saw a client of ours use it uh, oh, really? with her garden bag you know the hermes garden yes. party bag which is similar to this, it's an open top. Open top, yeah. And she uses okay. her Hermes um, dust, the, the bag. dust bag. Yeah. Oh, so they have a really Yeah, nice so she puts all the, her stuff inside the dust bag and she keeps it all nice and clean inside as well. So the price of this amazing bag, and remember, all our bags come with a complimentary dust bag. Is. is I love this bag. Yeah, it's really. I actually awesome. was looking at wicker bags. Or raffia bags. This definitely this is like so stylish. Very stylish. And you can fit a laptop for yes. sure if you need something for like a daily yeah. um, like a work bag or something. It definitely fits a It laptop. will definitely fit at the largest 15 inch uh, MacBook Air Very in this one. one. And the price of this. Oh, so many comments. Uh, it is only £1,495, no. which is an incredible price. We need no way. Are you tempted? It's like. I'd say it's like for free. <laughs> no, no, like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, it's such a good price. For Chanel, for yeah. Wicker, you know, wicker bags are, like, they're selling much higher. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we had the backpack version of this, and it was near pristine, and that went for £6,000. But because we've taken into account, there I is some... I need this. <laughs> there is some wear to the handles, which I've shown earlier. We've taken into account and are priced accordingly. So it's £1,495, which is $1,809 US dollars. Yes, I definitely like this. Yeah. Bag. She's very happy with it. It's them. a very good bag. And it's great for traveling. Traveling on summer vacations, you just take this bag and that's it. Yes, exactly. And I think, yeah. It's You're selling it to yourself, you know. I <laughs> jewelry towards the end of our show and i just want to feature this this is incredible is insane. it is insane. absolutely insane uh chanel uh necklace this is highly highly collectible have you ever seen this style before no it's it's oh, sorry. sorry i'm so sorry it's so rare to come by with this it's like bullet like yeah i want to call it like a bullet a bullet yeah yeah it's so like it's rounded torpedo style torpedo style yes because the entire chain is covered with this like torpedo style detailings and then you get the large chunky cc uh interlocking logo in the front yeah so i i and the best thing i love about them is the detailing on the t-bar closure oh, no. because you get the quilted sign on the donut on here yeah. And then as well, a little quilting on the sides of the T-bar. And it says Chanel. Sun, in, Chanel yeah. Yes. This is amazing. Oh, I just love this. So many ways you can wear this. You can wear this. It's very, very, uh, I would say this is a 1980s piece. Would you say? Let me have a look. No, it's 94. Oh, is it 94? 94, yes. Okay. Right. It is signed uh, 1994. So... You can wear it as a medallion style. I love it. Like, like this. this. Or you can definitely wear this as double a high... Wrapped. Yeah, double wrap as a high choker. So let me just pop that out. And you can wear that as a high choker. Oops. Do you help? Uh, yes, please. It reminds me of the vials that you would put messages in, you know, if you unscrew them, you could put a message in them. Yeah, hidden, like a message in a bottle type I'm sure thing. I'm Nana had a necklace like that. And you can wear it, oh, let me just close the captions down so you can see. So you can wear it doubled up as a necklace as well. You can definitely wear this as a belt. Yeah. Shall I try it as Let's a belt? Let's try it. Yeah. 
um, very collectible. I very, I mean, it's the first time I've seen this design. I've seen it in pictures, yes, but, but not in person. Not in person. And it gives me like nautical, some nautical vibes. Maybe because of the like rope detailing yeah. over the uh, CC. So. Uh, for once, something that's actually... <laughs> Not for once, we do have yeah. many pieces. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a chain, you can wear it as a belt chain. Oh, that's quite nice with my dress. Yeah. Today everything goes. I know, I love this like, dress. This dress is so versatile. Whatever piece I will put against your dress, it will look very vintage. This is one of my favourite vintage dresses. This dress is almost 50 years old. No way. Yeah, it's from the 1970s. I actually wore this dress during my, during my pregnancy. That's how versatile this dress is. Um, so, uh, this is an incredible 1994 piece. Let me just show you to flip the screen before we reveal the price. How stunning this piece is. The condition is excellent. It is excellent. All original 24 karat gold gilding. Uh, it has the T-bar with the Chanel inscribed. And to me, it almost like, you know how we were saying about torpedoes and stuff, but this also reminds me of bamboo. I don't yes. know why. Maybe the rivets. Actually, yes. Looks like a bamboo. And, and it's it is, not heavy. Oh, yeah, no. Cool, yeah. And it is uh, signed a Chanel 1994 collection. So the price is that was when they made the shoe with the revolver hill is that jerry jerry from um leather surgeons say hi if it is jerry i i'm so, i would be like almost fangirl you if it is that jerry if it's the same jerry i'm thinking of from leather surgeons let me know um because he is a, oh gosh, <laughs> i'm the, the, filming the yeah i haven't flipped the screen <laughs> That was when they made the shoe with the revolver heel. Oh, maybe. Wow. I have no idea. I haven't seen that. That one. We'll have to research that. So, Jerry, no USA, but just a girl in Florida. Oh, well, thank you for joining us, Jerry, from Florida. So, this uh, necklace, this highly collectible necklace, it is £2,250, which is $2,723 US dollars. Ooh. I didn't know Chanel did something like that. I've seen yeah, they did have the revolver uh, uh, jewelry, jewelry. Like belts, and yeah, I think earrings, earrings as well. Probably yes, maybe same collection. Yeah. So if you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. So we're down to our last few pieces. Uh, I think we need to show these earrings. I love these earrings. And we have, we have Dior as well, we have Dior, and we have this, this lovely piece. Okay. Oh, this are, I, I love the hoops. I know, I love these. Oh, I mean, I'm a big hoop person. I wear a lot so of let hoops. me take my um, tiny ones off. So, with the Chanel hoops, which are of similar designs, they are very versatile because actually the hoops are detachable. So you can wear them as a hoop, like this. And these are uh, the smaller size of the hoops we have previously uh, seen um, available. So this we is- We call them door knockers, don't Door we? knockers, yeah. yes. So uh, this feature a 24 karat gold uh, plated base metal with a hammered style um, on the hoop and on the base of the clip. And with this design, actually you do get two clips for oh. the price of one because you can always take the hoop out and wear it as a um, daintier piece during the day for example if you're at work and then when you're going out you can just add the hoops and oh, wear them that's as a good idea hoop. so yeah, that's just in one. case somewhere at work they like you to wear very discreet things especially in corporate yeah environment. yeah but um so and this also don't scream Chanel, but you know it's Chanel because the Chanel has this design where you can detach uh, the ring uh, from the um, base of the uh, clip closure. So both clip closures are original to the Chanel and also they are signed, uh, both a base uh, of the clips are signed Chanel made in France. So this is 1980s design, which is very popular to date. And let me just quickly flip the screen to show you um, the condition. So I would say the condition is probably eight 
Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good condition. Just a second. As you can see, nice and shiny with the hammered um, detailing in here. And this is how the back side looks. Some minor um, wear, maybe patina, but uh, overall uh, the gold plated uh, hardware is intact. So let's have a look at the price of these hoops. Uh, no, they are not loose. Uh, I would say it's quite secure. Um, yes, quite secure. And uh, you can always add a comfort pad to the clip if you find them to be a little bit maybe tied for you. So the price is excellent, uh, 595 uh, pounds, which is 720 US dollars. The icon appeared over here and you do get two pairs for the price of one because you can always change the style. 595 is a good price for good these price. Uh, hoop earrings. We've had a request, um, uh, El Philippi. Hi Winnie, that's my daughter's name as well. Oh, that's nice to meet a fellow Winnie. Um, you want to see the uh, random bag? Here it is. The random bag is oh, sorry, no, no. Um, it is uh, just pinned there. It's 695 pounds. Um, it features a uh, the monogram canvas exterior with the fechette leather, and the fechette leather is nice and clean. Winnie, will an iPhone fit in the mini Dior? Thank you. Yes. Mini Dior? Yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. It does fit. We yeah. tried it, and we think even the 13 will fit as well, along with your... This is an iPhone 11 case. Along with your cards, lipstick, and keys. So, it's despite the size, it's very roomy, yeah. and it's very clean on the outside and on the inside as well. Yeah. Uh, yes, it can be worn as a backpack, so it has a drawstring style closure, um, it is vintage from 1993, it does show uh, some signs of wear, but the patina generally is in nice, good, clean and even uh, uh, colouring. So it has two double straps, so you can actually wear this as a backpack, like this, and it feels very comfortable, or you can... Um, you can see there is where you can uh, remove this strap so you can play around with the way you want to wear it. Or you can wear it as a slung, as a shoulder bag like this. Or you can wear it over the front as a crossbody style bag like that. So this to me. And the length off. of the um, strap. straps is adjustable. Yes, and the yes, that's correct. So the length of the strap is adjustable. So there's we've got it on the longest setting. So obviously depending on how tall your daughter is, it's a... Uh, um, it is adjustable as well. Uh, you can wear it as a sling and can I see the bottom? Yeah, sure. So here is the bottom. Um, it is got some sun signs of use uh, and wear along the bottom, but the interior is nice and clean and it comes with a detachable, can you just see inside, it has a detachable pouch as well. So you can um, unbuckle the pouch and you can use the pouch as a separate wallet or as a clutch style bag. There you go. Um, other bits of jewellery. Let's do some Dior. I think we'll have this one. Uh, this, I think this is Givenchy. This is Givenchy? Oh, yes. okay. This we is have cute. Dior as well. Yeah. So we have this white pearl. Well, these are pretty. These are Givenchy, yes. So we have these, uh, no problem, it's a, it's a pleasure. We have these Givenchy 1980s, this is 1980s, I'm looking at it. A simple, 80s to 90s. yeah, 80s to 90s faux pearl uh, earrings are set on a gilded um, gold base. And these are large size classic pearl earrings. They're probably about an, over an inch wide. So quite a nice statement piece. They actually feel wonderful on, very, very secure and strong on. Um, they have a clip-on backing and they show the uh, Givenchy logo at the back as well. So let me just do a quick flip the screen. In terms of condition, I would say give it a good solid eight and a half out of ten. Um, there's no... The pearl cover is very... Yeah, clean there's no nice. scratches. There's no uh, loss 
of the uh, pearl cover. The, there is no tarnish to the gold gildings, nice and shiny. And, um, and the clip-on backing is nice and secure. And you can just about see the Givenchy uh, made, uh, does it say Givenchy New York? Uh, Paris, uh, Paris, 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 New, New York. York. When did they add on New York? Because I've seen Givenchy Paris. So this that, kind of um, signage is from what year? That should be 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. because I think they uh, did some jewelry for the uh, main of the main, um, like you know, the big supermarkets like um, oh Macy's, department, stores. department stores. So it was licensed in some ways, yeah, for these big department stores. So uh, the price of these fabulous earrings, Rachel, if you can reveal. Are only 150 pounds 55 pounds is an amazing price less than 200 dollars 187 dollars if you want to shop this all you need to do is tap on that yes it will go with the necklace let me just quickly Actually, grab the yeah. necklace you know it's like when you in the magazines you get um something expensive next yeah to affordable and yeah then you want this but you can buy this they do look like a nut. This is for you, no, no. So you can have first dibs if you want to. You can have a whole set going for Let you. Let me do a spoiler. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that That's is the real. Yeah, yeah, that is the real. Maybe we'll show that one next. <laughs> so. Otherwise, I do have a very nice CD logo, Dior clips, <laughs> as well. Shall we do the Givenchy? Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. The what Givenchy in your hand. <laughs> What's in my hand? What's in my hand? The earrings? The pearl. The, the pearl, pearl one. The pearl, the pearl one. But I'll still keep this on. Yeah. For now. So, to match the earrings, actually, it's, it's it was not on purpose, but yeah. uh, we do have this lovely uh, Givenchy anagram. So, they weren't actually part of the same set then? No, no, I don't think that's... It's just oh, a coincidence the that earrings. we have them actually in one drop, right? Yeah. So, we do have this central uh, Givenchy anagram on the front. So these with are the earrings I've just shown, which central, is the one at the bottom. Yes, with the central four pearl uh, detailing. So the pearl coloring is in excellent condition. The chain as well, it is in a very good condition. So I will turn it so you can see that there is almost no wear or tarnish on the back side. And there's the uh, Givenchy Anagram Paris New York logo. So it does feature a T-bar closure and I will just wear it for you so i think the t-bar closure is very uh comfortable because you can close comparing to the lobster clasp for mm -hmm. example it's much easier to close it i'll just quickly close the captures so as you can see it will sit as a choker like um, like that a little bit uh, lower so it's not very tight around the neck and because of a T-bar closure, for example, you can just twist it around and wear it with the T-bar on the front as well. So it looks nice both ways. Um, like this. And I just love the Givenchy anagram on the front. Because you know it's Givenchy. Yeah. Without obvious uh, saying. And I will flip the screen for you so you will see how beautiful uh, is the condition. See, the gold-plated metal is excellent. It's nice and shiny. There is no tarnish on the back side, as you can see. And um, it is uh, structured and crafted like this, so it is a movable part. And it wouldn't sit um, like stiff on the front around your neck. So what's the price of this beautiful choker? Givenchy. Yeah. <laughs> So the price is three hundred fifty uh, pounds, which is four hundred twenty three US dollars, and I can appear it over here. Uh, so uh, Nono is asking how comfortable were the earrings? Very comfortable. Very comfortable. Yeah. But if you feel like you want more grip, you you just buy the sleeves on the the. There are two types of uh, comfort pads, like a sleeve you will put. Um, on top of the clip closure or like a little like mushroom yeah. pins. Yeah, the comfort pads they're called. Yes. I mean, the actual backing is quite wide. 
it's like a wide pedal is that the way to, it, to explain it uh, so it distributes the pressure very evenly and it feels very secure and very comfortable I hope that helps no, and the no. size is very good as yeah well. it's not overly too large and it's not so small that you can't see anything but it's nice and discreet enough so yeah uh, my earrings. My earrings. Yes, and I'll do. My other. earrings, as Rachel says. Your earrings. My earrings are a Dior one with the central CD logo and also with the CD logo around uh, the um, earring. So these are actually clip on um, earrings with the uh, Christian Dior signed on the clip closure. So I'd say these were probably towards the end of the. Um, 90s or the 90s uh, because it doesn't say christian dior germany and until the end of the 80s they were produced in germany so this is quite popular design because it has a cd logo and let me just quickly show you the other i think these are fabulous these are fabulous and they are yeah. very comfortable dior yeah. clips are very comfortable i like the way it's got a very wide clip well, yes the base so, is very very wide so it is quite comfortable, but if you still want, you can add the sleeve on top the the uh, comfort cushion. So they would sit like this. I'd say in terms of sizing, that's two and a half to three centimeters, and the condition is very very good. So uh, I would rate this as probably seven and a half to eight, and I will just flip the screen to show you how shiny. They are. As you can see, so there is just one. Maybe a um, little loss of gold plating over here, which is barely visible. So that's on the front. And this is how the other side looks. Minimal wear to the back side as well. And both of them are signed Christian Dior with the copyright mark. So let's have a look at the price. Show here and also to Instagram. So the price is two hundred fifty-five um, pounds, which is three hundred eight US dollars, and I can appear it over here. So the one of our last pieces of the evening is this wonderful, very wearable and stackable um, gold T-bar style chunky chain by Chanel. You can see this um the main chain i just love the open work of this chain it's actually stunning it's got one triple tri triple chains that have been um sort of amalgamated together and it's finished with a t-bar closure it's a 1980s piece and on the end there is a little pearl charm that says chanel paris on there with a little faux pearl and it is shine, signed chanel with the oval plaque meaning that this is a 1980s piece it's also once again signed chanel inside where it's a little bit tarnished just inside but you can see the inscribed chanel logo i think this is really modern i've noticed that a lot of the fashion brands like i've seen celine and ysl they've gone back to this 1980s sort of like what do I call it? Essex gold. Uh, Essex gold. Yeah, or ghetto gold. I don't know how to say it, but it's it's all bold statement. Bold statement. Yeah. So it's always all the the, the big, chains. The cha mean, yeah, right? the big gold bold Chunky chains of yeah. all coming back in the fashion brands. So this is actually a bracelet. Uh, very comfortable with a T-bar closure. Has that nice little Chanel logo on the edge. And uh, very stackable, you can wear it on its own or you can wear it with light, stack it with other light uh, pieces. What I like about this is that this is actually very elegant, the way you look at it. And the only way you know it's Chanel, it's featured with this tiny little Chanel um, emblem just there. In terms of condition, let me do the flip the screen. It's in very good condition with hardly any... It is very... Um, it's... I will give you the measurement. It's actually quite wide. So um, if you've got petite wrists, it's probably you might have to take some links out. Uh, but let me just quickly show you the condition. Uh, very, um, the original 24 karat gold gilding, no loss of tarnish or shine. And the enamel pearl shows no peeling and no scratches. And you can just about see the Chanel logo there as well. So let me just measure it for you. 24 centimeters long. So 24, 23. 23. So it's to, um, end to end, uh, it is 23 centimeters. If you half that, 
what's half of 23? It is roughly... Oh, 11 something. Yeah, 11, 11 cent. Half. Yeah, so 11 and oh. half, which is roughly around <laughs> about three and a half or four inches wide. So it is quite generous in sizing. So um, I hope that helps. So the price of this elegant piece, I actually quite like this. This is really nice. I like how nice. it's constructed. So it's not that, um, you know, it's like not massive. But it, it does look gentle despite yeah. the length. And this, yeah, it's quite and elegant. The and the, and the, the, yeah, and the open work, it's just quite a nice, um, different type of chain. Um, 14 centimetres. Ooh, maybe it might fit you then. Oh, no, that's quite small, isn't it? That's seven, that's the standard seven in What? <laughs> her wrist. 16 for a while. Yeah, 16 for, yeah, so 16. I think it's Yeah, you are big. small. Yeah, this will be probably too big, to be so honest, probably Sarah. Probably nine centimetres. Yeah. So this uh, bracelet is £595, which is um, 720 US dollars. If you want to shop this, all you need to do is just tap on that icon just there. Um, now, should we just finish off with the camellia? And then we will... That's all we yeah, have. that's all we have. We've shown everything. It's fantastic. We have the camellia. I love the camellia. I love yeah. I just love the camellia. Honestly, I think this is... This is very, very beautiful piece. And the best thing about this Camellia is that it comes in leather. And it's, it comes in pink leather. So it has this beautiful CC logo on the side. And it does look like this. The rata? What's what? in your hand? What? These earrings! Yes. Oh, What's congratulations! The earrings? Sold? Yeah, the heart earrings. Oh, oh, congratulations! Congratulations! Amazing! Well done! That's Winnie's energy. Yeah. <laughs> she was trying them on. So um, as you can see, the back side has a uh, plastic metal, uh, plastic base. Um, it is signed um, 2018 Cruise co Collection. And the pin closure is in working is order. I couldn't see it on the bottom here. Oh, yes, of course. So it's the yeah. laser imprinted. Yeah. The laser imprinted uh, stamp. So I read that to make one camellia, it takes 25 Petals. Oh really? Yes, I haven't counted them, but I've read that. Probably, points. yeah, because you got to layer it, yes, right? You and have make to it layer circular. It. And this, you can actually, you can step it to the bag. Like, let's take this wicker bag, and you can just add this on top. And just oh, put that looks so cute. Or to the hat, if you're wearing like a fedora hat during the summer with the, like, yeah, the, the straw, straw hat, like photo style hat. Yes, yeah. and then you can put it on top, or. You can wear it as, actually as a hairpiece. Yes. Pins to the oh, nails, crunchy. Oh, on your crunchy. blade. So the ways yeah. to wear the camellia are multiple. Let me flip the screen to show you how beautiful this color is. So actually the leather is, it's a cuff leather, so it's not lambskin. So it has more structure um, to it, but it's still very nice and soft. But it is, it doesn't lose its shape. As you can see, the shape is pristine. And I just love the color. Everything pink is, is very, very nice. Especially Chanel pink. Especially Chanel pink. Yeah. So, as you can see, there is no color um, transfer or any marks on the camellia flower. And let's have a look at the price. I would wear it as a hairpiece, probably. Oh, that look cute on you. I would wear it like, like, like this, on this crunchy. Yeah, like you know the silk one probably or Ooh, something. Oh, you could put it on just a piece of black um, oh. velvet and wear it around your neck. Oh, yeah, actually, like a corsage. Yeah, yeah. 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 You it as a uh, choker if you yeah. have um, a string of, uh, for example, suede or yeah. any other material. You can wear it like this. So you can actually um, find many ways to wear a camellia brush. Oh, the price is really good. It's mm -hmm. four hundred fifty pounds, which is five hundred forty-four US dollars. And the icon appeared over here. So you can just shop it just there. Yes. Somebody asked to see the Louis Vuitton. Can I see the LV again? My husband wants to see it. Oh yeah, no problem. So this is, is your husband on? Okay, so I would say this is a very good unisex bag. And we wanted to show you, this is a GM size. You can wear this <coughs> as a uh, backpack, like so. And you can wear it as a sling bag. 
and you can wear it as one shoulder bag as well. So it's a very, very large size. Definitely you can put your sports equipment inside. <coughs> Sorry. Something just gone down in the wrong throat. So this is currently £695 and you can see further information and the measurements just there. <coughs> so we have approached the end of the evening. We do have one other item while we're here. We might as well just showcase it. <coughs> Excuse me. We have this belt actually. Oh, okay, um, yes. Yeah, let's just feature this belt. Really cool belt. Look at that. Oh, wow. Isn't that amazing? You know straight away by wearing that belt, you're wearing Chanel. Yes. That interwoven gold chain detail is triple chain joined together. You know so immediately this is a vintage Chanel belt and it's finished with uh, lambskin leather with a gold buckle. Brewery say, can I come into store this Wednesday? I have two bags I want to exchange. Is that all right if this lady uh, brewery comes in for an exchange? You can. It's probably best to email Winnie, myself or Elena first uh, with, pictures, for maybe. with pictures for evaluation. And once we secure the valuation, we give you an authorised purchase order number to pop in. And it takes uh, within the day to give you a valuation. So uh, my email is winnie at luxurypromise.com uh, and um, I can give you a rough evaluation and we can give you an exchange. So if anybody's watching this and you want to do an exchange, uh, what we do, it's actually part exchange. So we give you a credit value um, for the value of your bag which you could use in the form of a digital gift card, which you can use on any future purchases at Luxury Promise. It doesn't um, expire and, and you can use it like a debit card. So you don't have to use all of it at once or you can just do part payments of it. So um, you can reserve some of the, uh, the, the funds on that. So, but yes, we do do part exchange. So, <clears throat> uh, so this is uh, the belt. Um, Looks very good. Very good. Yeah. In terms of sizing, I think it's eighty. It's eighty. Yeah. So it says eighty. It's signed um, uh, Chanel, made in Paris. So it's ideal for a thirty-two inch waist. Navy bag. No. Probably. Probably the navy bag. No, nothing much. Nothing. Oh. Oh no. So in terms of condition, it's in very good condition. Uh, with no loss of gilding. This is definitely a 90s piece by looking at this. And the lambskin looks excellent. And um, and the gold gilding is in excellent condition. Uh, <clears throat> Ruru, it's probably best to either email winnie at luxurypromise.com or elena at luxurypromise.com and we will give you a valuation on your items before you pop in. Um, no problem. So uh, this would belt would probably good fit a good up to a UK ten uh, or eight. Eight ten. Eight. Maybe yeah. You're ten, right? So probably. No, I, that, I'm a twelve on my oh, wife. So probably yes. Eight a to ten. ten. Yeah, eight to ten for sure. Eighty centimeters, and it's definitely a uh, waist belt. Yeah, like high waist belt. belt. High waist, so it's not yeah. the hip one. No. Um, so the price, please. The price. Finding a picture as it hasn't loaded. Oh. oh. It likes to do that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I, I like this. I just like how I the know. triple chain is. It's not very often we see tri triple chain. No, so we normally the, see the double chain. Double chain. And this is an incredible chain. condition. I love the condition. Yeah, it is so beautiful. No, no, it's going, oh, it's so beautiful. It's stunning. It is stunning. And it's still very nice and soft. And considering it's a 90s piece, it still looks relevant now in the year 2020s. So, uh, you but know. Honestly, when I buy something, I just, because I think fashion, it's like so fast moving. Yeah. I don't wear trendy pieces. I no. wear basic classic style, which never goes. That but do your earrings have so Oh, have fantastic. Sold. Which one of the CD the ones? Oh, yeah. You? CD. Oh, amazing. Yes. Congratulations. So, so, in the meanwhile, Let's have a look if we have the price for the belt. Actually, it's very easy to sell with oversized white 
T-shirt or a shirt, mm. not the T-shirt, but shirt or the shirt dress. Yeah, it's very. You, you know what a lot of the uh, girls at work they like to do? They get an oversized blazer, a black blazer, and then or, yes, and then or wear a white blazer, top. and they cinch. No in. way. How much? One thousand three hundred fifty. That is a brilliant price. It's a price for the necklace. Yeah. And you get a lot more use out of it. So, yeah. 1,350 pounds, which is 1,633 US dollars. The icon appeared over here. And this is an amazing piece of vintage Chanel. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I think we Oh, Kel, you used, your gap you used your gift card. Oh, that's good. I even chased you up, didn't I, Kel? I was like, Kel, have you got your gift card? See no movement? You got it right? Well, obviously you have. So, we've shown everything. We have shown everything. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much. If there's anything you really want us to show again, please let us know in the next few minutes because um, we will wrap up this show. It's been a blast. As per usual, very fun to do the show with you on a Monday. <laughs> Not <laughs> only on a Monday. Every day. Every Every day. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> like so, uh, um, oh, that's good, Kel, oh, amazing. Is it the camera bag? Uh, she bought a Gabrielle bag. Oh, Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle. so she, so an example of um, Kel, who's one of our customers, as well as a, a, a seller, she basically exchanged two or three items. In return, she got the value of a Gabrielle bag. So part exchange is something we offer, and it's a great way to put, you know, turn those unwanted items into something that you really, really want at Luxury Promise. So, uh, thank you, and um, thank you, and it's been thank a wonderful you. evening, and thank, thank you for, for yeah, us. thank you for joining, and thank you for those who had made purchases during our live show, and thanks again to Rachel, and we'll see you next Monday for another fabulous show. Yes. So, have a lovely evening. Thank Bye. You. Bye.